Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Aisha Nation. It's now time for Frontline Business. According to Linville Hamilton, president of the Jamaica Used Car Dealers Association, sales fell by 60% in the first quarter of this year when compared to the previous three months. According to Mr. Hamilton, the volatile exchange rate and subsequent movement in car prices hindered sales. One of the things that's affecting us is the sliding of the dollar. We wish that the government could really take the U.S available for us because that is also affecting the business. But what is happening is that we purchase cars at say one forty one forty, one forty three and then by the time the car gets here or we are to send funds for it, it's at one fifty. So we have to be changing prices on customers sometimes because of this and it is causing a lot of problems for us. But it has been pretty much very grim for us. The government is being urged to rely more on local animators as it attempts to build smart cities and progress to a digital society. Tashara Lee Johnson, Chief Operating Officer at the Limners and Bards, declares this will necessitate investment. The recommendation was recently raised at the Kingston Animation Conference. We have different generations that exist within our island. And it's just, yes, you have the younger persons who are probably more tech savvy and can adapt easily. But you do have those persons who are more reserved, um, not so fond of it, and are afraid for reasons, you know, valid reasons. And I think in our way, in, in terms of commercializing, what we've been doing, for example, is doing little how-to videos. So how do you, for example, use an app? It requires a lot of investment for the smart city that I think people are thinking of is everything, lights everywhere, touch, you know, they're thinking big and it, it requires a lot of capital investment. In addition to the new animation jobs, Michael Luktong, vice president of the media and content operations at Flow, believes that more people will be able to relate to animation. In a smart city environment where you have all these touch points um, for, for, for various things, you know, the, the, the most you know, one of the easiest ways to, to communicate something is, is, is definitely through animation. Um, you know, so I think, you know, as, as, as we start going down the roads of, of smart cities, you know, digital experiences and, 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 so, and, and so on, I mean, that, you know, that, that benefits the, you know, the, the, the industry. President Biden's economy shows strength, but recovery is far from complete. Businesses are rebounding, hunger is decreasing, and the stock market is breaking records. But many Americans remain jobless. According to the CNN, the surge in bookings for flights, hotels, and even boat tours is the latest sign an economic rebound has taken hold. It added that the durability of this rebound, however, is difficult to measure. Hiring is picking up rapidly after backsliding in December. And the number of families behind on rent fell by more than 2 million in March. The widely tracked S&P 500 stock market index notched at least 21 records since Biden took office, the most seen by any president in his first 100 days since John F. Kennedy. And business optimism is rebounding in both the manufacturing and service sectors from low levels. Economists have long predicted that growth will accelerate as the coronavirus comes under control, pushing the Biden administration to put a distinctive spin on the government's role in the recovery. Biden's team prioritized vaccinations and worked quickly with Congress to enact a $1.9 trillion stimulus package to provide ample support to the economy and had a tangible impact. In Tuesday's trading session, the JSE combined index declined by 48.9 points to close at just over 400,000 units. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 96 stocks, of which 45 advanced, 39 declined, and 12 traded firm. The junior market index declined by 23.83 points to close at just over 3,000 units. Stocks advanced for AMG Packaging and Paper Company, Burita Investments, Berger Paints Jamaica Limited, Blue Power Group, and CAC 2000 9.5 cumulative redeemable preference shares. 
stocks declined four. Caribbean cream, Caribbean flavors and fragrances, Caribbean producers Jamaica Limited, Sibony Group, and Durman Trading Company Limited. Now trading firm were 1834 Investments, Access Financial Services, Cargo Handlers, JMMB Group 7.25% Preference Shares, and JMMB Group Limited 7.25%. Future Energy Source Company LTD Ordinary Shares was the volume leader with 13.5 million units, followed by Trans Jamaican Highway Limited with 2.6 million units, and Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances Limited also with 2.6 million units. And now for the foreign exchange. Oil prices edged higher on Tuesday as OPEC Plus, Russia and their allies will stick to plans to raise output slightly from May 1, suggesting it does not see a lasting impact on demand from India's coronavirus crisis. Brent crude ended the session up 77 cents to settle at $66.42 a barrel after climbing to a session high of $66.51 a barrel. U.S. oil gained $1.03 to settle at $62.94 a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Aisha Nation, wishing you pleasant viewing.